If you can't get pregnant and also you're feeling constantly cold, you're foggy, you're so tired and you don't know what the heck is going on, your doctor may have tested your thyroid function and said to you, all is good, all is normal. And you may have checked and he, you see he checked TSH. Now you may have a TSH above 2.5. That can already mean slow ovulation and slow metabolism without your doctor even mentioning it because he looks at a far wider range that is sometimes not really optimal for fertility. For him it's normal but it's actually not normal for your body. He should also check not just TSH, he should have checked free T3 and if this is low or in the bottom third of the range That's your active hormone and if it's low, your cells aren't getting the message. Then when we look at free T4, that can look okay. But this is the inactive form that has to convert to T3. So a normal free T4, but a low free T3, or at least in the lower bottom end, might mean you have subclinical hypothyroidism. If also your reverse T3 is on the higher end, might be still within the range, but might be higher, that means your body's blocking that conversion that needs to happen, often due to stress or inflammation. Inflammation is a biggie when it comes to thyroid health. And if your TPO or the TG antibodies are elevated, that might be autoimmune and your body's attacking your thyroid. But if you are sick of doctors not looking a little bit closer and finding the root and getting to the bottom of things, then join me inside my 12-week fertility program within the Fertility Circle and start tackling what's actually going on within you so you can get pregnant, stay pregnant and deliver a healthy baby because that's what it's all about, isn't it?